Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengalina here coming back at you with another video today. Back on Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty and NCAA 14. As Omar Williams has locked us out. Also, here's Kirby Johnson, who I'm not really going after. Although, maybe we should. He's a five-star quarterback, and it seems like we're kind of close to him. But I'm worried about wide receiver Omar Williams in this one. We've been locked out, unfortunately. He's a very good player. Five-star receiver. And he's visiting in week 14. And I don't want to lose him. I think we can still stay in this race. I think we can win him over. And this is a receiver that could change our program. So we're going to open the door. We're going to break the lock. And we're going to try to come back. Right, second place now. I'll take that. Minus 560. We're going to go ahead and put in 500 points. And uh, I think we can get him. We're going all in on Omar. We're not going to be able to get Adam Wheeler. He'd be a sick player to get, but it's just not... It's not possible at this point. We're going to go ahead and... and back off go after Dan Atkinson who isn't bad he's a 70 overall obviously much worse but decent speed tackling is good good block shed for a safety he's got to work on his coverage a lot all right Arkansas State they are pretty good actually 79 overall 79 offense 80 defense Outlaws versus Red Wolves up next. Arkansas State plays host to Ozark State versus Arkansas State today. They're coming out in some really nice looking jerseys. I think we saw these uniforms last year though, but that will not stop us from going right through them, hopefully. As uh, we're going to start this game off receiving. Yeah, Colby Spencer didn't play much last game, exited early with a concussion in the second quarter, but I think he'll be able to come back and lead us to the promised land. And that is a win, of course, over the Red Wolves in Arkansas State. Oh, not a good start. Not a good start at all, and that's recovered by Ransom. What, what in the world was that? And no one could get the ball either. Okay. Previous play is under review. He was down. Give me the football back. He was down. Oh, everything about that was down. Give me a break. Yeah, there we go. Gotta love a good reversal. And we're back on offense. That was, uh... Almost really bad and said it was just bad. There we go, Colby Spencer. I mean, you can't coach speed. You guys ever heard that? It's true. Maybe she can't teach fast. Something. It doesn't matter. You guys get the idea. Third down and six. Why not go with a play-action pass? And, um, yeah, I mean, just nothing nothing really developed there at all. Rolled out very early, but pressure was coming off that right edge. Jeez, I mean, that's just unlucky. Unfortunate timing. Great offensive start. One of our best. Our punter can what? Kick it 30 yards in the air? Big return as well. He's so bad. He's got to have like 60 kick power. John! Why are you so slow? Oh, it's the magic wand idiot again. Good tackle. A uh, great tackle again by Colt 45, Colt Nash. Third and 12. Let's go, defense. Let's step up. No touchdowns. 
That's what we're playing. No touchdown defense here. It's over the middle. Good tackle by Higgins, and Arkansas State's going to have to settle for a field goal, I would imagine. 3 yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but there are far worse situations to be in to start a game. Field goal is good. That's all good. We need to come out and play better offense. That's just all it is. Spencer on the run. Hits Gaither. And we got some space. That's what this offense is. It's a rollout, scramble, drill offense. And it, it honestly works pretty well a lot of the time. Rolling out. Throwing on the money. It's Rob Gaither. You're blocking the wrong guy, Roland. You need to pick up the guy in front. Play lead blocker. Don't come back. Try to block guys we already outran. Read option. Colby Spencer. Nothing but space, but he gets tackled from behind. 15-yard gain. I like that. I do not like being stopped on the one, though. So we are going to convert. Touchdown. Nope, he dropped the ball. Going with the pitch. Good blocking. We're going to spin back and get the touchdown. I didn't think we had the edge. Maybe should have juked back, but you get touchdowns to touchdown. Can't really complain too much. 7-3 to three in favor now of the Ozark State Outlaws on the road. Let's play some defense. Gaither has a concussion. He's out for the game. Oh, my God. Hanson trying to take off. Nowhere to go. Good pressure, or at least good contain from Ron Wilkerson. Way to drag him down. It's wide open by Booker. Jesus. There's a read option, and that's just not what you like to see. He's just way faster. Tariq Parrish pushes him out of bounds, but he gains 36. There's no justice in this world. Wrap up, Robinson. Thank you, or Robeson. He doesn't play that much, and that's an annoying last name. You'll have to forgive me. And that's a touchdown. What is it? Dijon Pascal? Dijon Pascal? Touchdown. We just got scored on by some honey mustard. And uh, Arkansas State's back in the lead. By three, 10 to seven. Let's streak him out. Take a deep shot. Actually, wow, that's a great throw. Gotta love that. Here we go Darren Maxwell. Oh, look at the juke. What a double move. And I fumble the ball. No, don't. What are you? I'm not holding that way. What are you doing? It, it locked. I, I hate this game sometimes, dude. Trying to throw to X. Colby Spencer fumbles the ball, and then the offensive lineman picks it up and gets a complete mind of his own. Runs back as far as possible. It's third and 42. How do we convert this? Goddard, downfield, finds his man. It's Karan Kirkpatrick. He's caught it off a bobble, 46-yard gain. Oh, my God. That's that's amazing. It all it all balances out. They want they want me to tell you it doesn't. I still get screwed. Scramble drill, scramble drill. We got it over his head. It's a, it's off the hands of Darren Maxwell. I told you it doesn't equal out. Or maybe that that's all equaling out because we got a bobble tip. Catch. Oh my, it's off the hands of Darren Maxwell. And into their hands. No. They're going deep. Oh my god, that's gonna beat Chris Outlaw. Did he catch that? Who is this honey mustard? God! There's no way. This life is not fair. I told you there is no justice in this world. Especially not with this Hanson quarterback. Their running back actually has not been able to get anything going. And Colby Spencer's out for a week. I don't know if that means he's going to miss next week with broken ribs. You'd maybe assume, and I say that as Warren Wand has his best run of the game after we were shutting him down. Why do I even open my big dumb mouth? 
What is that? Oh my god, he just, just drag him into the end zone. Didn't get that over. Head of the cornerback, and he's telling us to suck it. Jesus. That shut down completely. Ron Wilkerson makes the play. We need to, uh... We need to shut him down. This offense just hasn't been there today. He's going deep. We're switching on. It's an interception by Tariq Parrish. My first time ever switching on and making a play. I love it. All right, we're going for it on fourth and four. Haven't looked good today. Just, we're not getting the separation. Not making the right reads and right throws. And uh, we're going to run just because it's safe here with Pedro Goddard. Pick up the block. Five. You're kidding me, Ryan Muller. I need that. We're lobbing that up. Ryan Muller. Yikes. Goddard. Downfield. Roland Francisco drops the ball. Come on. Uh, catching, of course, on aggressive. That'll do it. They're balanced. You need on conservative so they don't drop the ball every time. I'm not punting. We're not in field goal range, so you do the math. We're going for it. From the 41, how do we pick up the first down? That right there. What is what is that throw, Pedro? What is that throw? We have it open. There's space. Take him down, Hanson. Sacked. Who fell on top? Daryl Bradford. All right. Robeson on the blitz. Get to him. Let's go, baby. That's how you step up on third down. Good read. Karan Kirkpatrick it takes a big shot. We're going to throw that ball again to Karan Kirkpatrick. Good catch. Clock is going to stop momentarily, but I think we've managed it pretty well. All right, 30 seconds to go. Francisco Burns initially, and he makes up for his drop earlier somewhat with a touchdown now. 14-yard catch. Pedro Goddard finds him. Great way to beat press, and we back. Right back in it. It's a good play. Might take us to the half. There we go, Rory. Lightning McQueen. Can we get a ka-chow in the comments? It's the end of the first half. It's a close one. We are down, and we are kicking off. Arkansas State's a pretty good team. We're trying to hang tough. I feel like the Notre Dame game was easier than this somehow. It's an option. Blankenship can't wrap up. McQueen can't get to him. Tariq Parrish finally does, but he picks up 22. To screen, Daryl Bradford reads it well. Can't get the interception, but I think for his purposes, stopping them for a three-yard loss, that's pretty good. I'm right there. At least we force an incompletion. It's going to be third and 13. Come on. To screen again. Get over there. Tariq Parrish. I ran past it. But big hit from number 30. That's Jeff Fisher. And it looks like we're going to force Arkansas State to settle for a field goal. Which means a touchdown would put us on top. Field goal is good. Let's just score seven. 21-20. I'm down. Get out there, Goddard. Good blocking. Just outrun him. He fumbles out of bounds, but picks up 21. And that is going to be third and inches. And off to Hairston. The fullback, and he loses a half yard. I, I hate fullbacks. I don't know why I'm... We're going for it. We can convert this easily. Fourth and one. Open in the flat. This time, it is the fullback again. Michael Harrison, far better receiver than he is a runner. Give him that. Third and 13. That's open. That was not to Jake Rodriguez. I can guarantee you, but he's still going. That throw was supposed to be to Karan Kirkpatrick. I swear to God, I pressed B. And it ended up in the hands of Jake Rodriguez. Not the first time this has happened in this series. I think it happened last week. That's open. Goddard, he just says no arm. That's wide open, man. 
Get somebody get open, man. Nothing. I run around like an idiot and I take the sack. I'm waiting for Scott Lewis to move and he just doesn't. Now we have... He just can't punt either. We have no punter. I'm trying to get this out of bounds. That's a good punt. Please, please, Fulton, make the play. There's no way he got a foot down. Is that worth a challenge? I think it is. There's no way. If he did, I mean, that's fine, but I, I don't think he got in. Hands go up. Makes contact there, and now you got a foot in. Yep. My bad. We're going to lose a timeout. I thought that's that's just perfect. That's the only thing they could have done there. That's just perfect. Anything else is an interception or an incompletion. That ball was in the absolute perfect spot. It's an option, and this wand kills us. Get wand. Big hit, but of course he's going to hold on. That's how it works. That shut down completely. There we go. There we go. Good defense. That's what we need. We just need to hold uh, Arkansas State to field goals and score touchdowns ourselves. The only problem is we haven't been able to score touchdowns. Field goal sneaks through Arkansas State. We need to come back. Oh my god, Scott Lewis, just that, that kind of double juke shake and bake is so, so good. Scott Lewis, just be faster than him. 95 speed, welcome to the party. I'm going to throw that up. Goddard. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't start. Because that's a touchdown. Goddard. Oh, that's on the money, though. Kind of. Quincy Russ, 35-yard pickup. I feel like that could have been picked if, if the game wanted it to be. Goddard, get there! All right, I'll take an eight-yard gain. Hand off, Darren Maxwell. Spin back, can't get it. Where's Scott Lewis? What is this defensive line they're coming out with? Yeah, we should be able to have a touchdown here. Look at that combo. They're just not going to be able to cover that. You are... You, you have got to be kidding me, Pedro! We have an easy, easy, easy touchdown. I cannot say easy enough times because of how easy this touchdown would have been. Watch this. Boom. Wide open. I start to throw right here. Are you kidding me? Wide open. No one around. No one. Back turns covering this. And Goddard puts it over here. Not even close. Look at all this space still. He throws it right to him. No way. I'm about to be sick. Get to him. Thank you. Jeff Fisher on the sack. Parrish got to him. Big sack by the strong safety Tariq Parrish on a non-designed blitz. I think this is a game we 100% win with Colby Spencer. It's just been the missed throws by Goddard that have uh, really hurt us here. I know we didn't really get much going early. Took me a little bit to adapt to this Red Wolves offense, or to me, defense. But Colby Spencer wins this, this game. Open, Goddard. Now he hits it on the money. He can only throw to tight ends. That's his deal. Well, not even. He overthrew one earlier for a touchdown, so never mind. Goddard hit it. 
I, I know he couldn't, but if I plant, I'm gonna get sacked. Come on, Roland. There we go. That's a good way to get some extra yardage. We gotta hurry this thing up. We need to hurry up. Back to the line. Let's go, uh, let's go four verts. I like to roll out. Something will be open. Something always gets open. This time, it's the running back. Scott Lewis. Steps out of bounds. There we go. We're gonna move back into the hurry up. Open over the middle! It's Gerard Sharp. An unlikely recipient of that touchdown. But he does get it. We are going to kick the PAT. Field goal would put us on top. Just gotta play some defense. We have timeouts. And we have time. We only have two timeouts because of a challenge. But we do have time. Oregon stuns number eight Washington. To screen. Oh my god, we got wrapped up. We got trapped and... I mean, we had a guy going right over there. And we got uh, tripped up on our own player. They're not. That's wide open. I think... I was trying to remember... I'm like, did I accidentally run commit? And I'm like, ah, I could pass commit. Nope. Uh, they passed the ball, obviously. I accidentally ran commit. And, uh, yeah, they score really, really quickly, which is going to hurt our chances a little bit here. We're going to throw over the top. That's going to get picked. Jesus. We just can't go over the top. Jason Perry's in the game. Joshua Perry's got some good wheels. Like, not really. This is the only way we're moving the ball, by the way. Probably not showing too much, but... It's kind of repetitive. We're going deep over the top. Timed it perfectly. And Roland Francisco has the touchdown. 38 yards. That's what I'm talking about. We're back in it. And I am... God, we're just gonna have to pretend well, we're gonna have to play for the stop I almost wanted to go for two because then if they score a touchdown we can go for two and answer I think let's say that works but if they score a touchdown the game's over Goddard sprained his elbow he's out for two weeks Perry is our quarterback for the rest of the game okay or I mean did uh who was our quarterback last year a lot of games Kedrick Cunningham is he on the team still I don't really know. What is going on here? There, oh my god. I'm going to have to try and somehow get to wide receiver. Please. I have to do it this way. I don't know what's going on with my left stick right now. But it's not letting me go where I want. Could just be a menu issue. I want to check to see if Kedrick, uh, Kedrick Cunningham is a wide receiver. I don't even know if he's still on the team. I don't think he is. I think he... Uh, yeah, he's gone. The handoff. Good tackle. We're going to call a timeout. To run. Shut it down. Let's go. Sandoval Slaughter on the tackle. Third and seven. We have no timeouts. They're going to be able to bring it down to uh, a minute and like 10 seconds or so. A little bit more than that. It's going to be about a minute. And they have a lot of receivers. I kind of hope they just run the ball. They're going to throw it. They have time. They're looking for it. It's intercepted by Derek Higgins. Let's go, baby. Derek Higgins, you beast. Perry on the run to Scott Lewis. We have space. Check it out. Ah. Let's go, baby. Come on, Darren. Maxwell. Spin back across. We're setting up for a field goal here. Arkansas State probably should be using their timeouts, but they're not. It's third and four. Time is going to continue to tick, and I am playing for the field goal at this point. Third down and four. Scott Lewis. He is down. Fourth and one. We're going to set up for a game-winning field goal, potentially. Oh, they're going to try and freeze me too, huh? Oh, I'm waiting on this clock, so. All right, number 69. 
Pete Riley for the win. Let's go, Pete. Kick is up right down the middle. Ozark State going to take a 31-30 lead over Arkansas State with three seconds to play. We're kicking it deep. Please give me kick coverage. Tackle him. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. A comeback, fight, a win, and a huge interception by Derek Higgins to put us in that position. Oh my goodness. What a play. Derek Higgins, player of the game. Honestly, they're going to give it to Roland Francisco. I don't agree with that. I know he had two touchdowns. Derek Higgins had the play that even put us in a position to win. That's the play of the game for me. And what a game. It's an ESPN classic. Where does it rank on my all-time list here? Does it not pop up? I, thought it, I think it usually does. What an interception. What an interception by Derek Higgins. I thought it usually shows you, like, this ranks number or whatever in your all-time blah, blah, blah. I guess not, but that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.